tried to start it, but then I was unsuccessful. Good morning, guys. We're like good middle of the night. It is currently 5.50. I've been up for an hour now. It's literally the middle of the night. Like, I don't feel normal. Like, I feel foreign right now, and that's fine because what am I gonna do about it? I'm leaving for set now. I don't think I've ever picked up the camera when I'm like literally leaving for set this early because I just, I don't know, I just I am never in it to win it. Like I'm always just out of it. But anyways, I just thought I would vlog morning for you guys. Don't ask me why I thought it would be a good idea because I don't know. I've just never, I don't think I've ever done this before because I'm usually way too tired. But you know what, I'm actually not feeling like the most horrible I've ever felt waking up this early. At first it was very brutal, but then like now I'm kind of more awake. I am gonna have a coffee like once I get there. It's nice because when you go this early, you always get breakfast and coffee and all that. So it's like not bad at all. We have a 25 minute drive ahead of us, which is not bad at all. Like this is like, I'm very thankful that it's not far away whatsoever. We should be there at 6.15, the GPS is telling me, and I have to be there by 6.30, so. We're early, I hate being late. I literally hate being late to this type of shit. I'm just scared about like, what if I don't find the address and blah, blah, blah. Okay, anyways. Yeah, I'm gonna drive now, but maybe I'll update you guys sometime. I don't know, we'll see. Hey guys, so I look crazy right now. I literally have never worn red lipstick. I don't think ever on my own in my life. They made me wear red lipstick today. Um, yeah, so I just got home from set. It's seven, I mean, it's eight o'clock right now. Literally just hit eight. And yeah, it was a fun day. Went by really fast, but it was a long day. 6.30 a.m. to eight o'clock very long day but tomorrow we're not in until 10 o'clock which is nice fortunately it's monday and i was supposed to post my video today but i didn't get to posting it because i didn't even know i was going to be working today like they let me know last minute so i didn't like i thought i had time to edit it today but unfortunately i didn't but it's okay we're gonna post it friday honestly i'm just like chill like whatever it's meant to be is meant to be and i'm not gonna stress myself out about it because i got a lot of things going right now and you know what we're just we're just going with the flow yeah i'm gonna go inside now and wash this makeup off because i've been wearing makeup now for too many hours it's just been too long so this has to come off my face like i was looking at my face halfway throughout the day and i'm like why am i so oily and then I'm like, wait, because I've literally been wearing this makeup for like 12 hours straight. So let's go inside. Hey guys, I literally look like a potato right now, but it is Thursday and I've been working on set Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday announced Thursday it's I had a later call time today though it's 4 30 but last night I finished at like 3 a.m. so I was literally sleeping the whole day because I was so tired so now we're back today's my last day for the week so tomorrow I don't like I'm not working on set I brought my laptop so I can like edit and stuff today while I'm here just because I have like editing to do. I wanna post my video tomorrow and I haven't even started editing yet because I've just been like very busy. It's literally raining so hard. And like weird enough, I literally had a dream last night about vlogging. Like it was so weird. Like I thought that I vlogged, but then it was just a dream. Yeah, it's literally downpouring. We had like a rainfall warning, so it's not good. It's really not good. So gloomy outside today. Like it wasn't bright today. Like it was just dark and gloomy and like it was never turned bright today. I'm just so procrastinating right now because I just wanna stay in my car when I'm dry. See you later.
Hey guys, so I just, we just got back from downtown because I had a meeting with my agency. So we just stopped at the mall because Joel bought himself his own Christmas present. He literally like wanted to buy it for himself and he's literally making like a, a donation box for whoever wants to chip in for the Christmas present. I mean, if nobody chips in, I was going to buy it anyways. But. Should I tell them what it is or are we saving that for a surprise? Kind of nobody knows what it is except me. So it's like, yeah, since he, I can't be surprised, I want everybody else Yeah, exactly. To he, he's trying to do a reverse first Christmas yeah. where he wants to surprise everybody else what his gift is and everybody keeps asking me they're like what's your gift I'm like I can't say and like they're like getting really excited it's about really it. taking <laughs> some pride off of this so but so I'm so like somebody has to be excited about it so so yeah because he knew exactly what he wanted it was very pricey actually not like extremely pricey but it was pretty pricey to the point where like it's a good Christmas gift um so he's gonna you know what i should wrap it for you why don't i wrap it yeah for this you? is probably one That's, of the best christmas gifts i've ever got but like how are aren't you gonna be sad that you're not gonna be able to open it yeah because i'm actually gonna be the thing is that this gift replaces something that i already have that's literally painful to use anyways so i just ordered starbucks because it is three it is no yeah 3 30 and i haven't eaten a single thing today i haven't even drinking a cup of water today like I, yeah, so I just ordered a coffee and I ordered a wrap because the drive home is like 20 to 30 minutes right now and I'm like, I don't think I can last that long. Like, I'm so grumpy right now because I really want food. Like, I need something in my stomach. Um, because this morning I woke up really late and then I just had to leave right away because I went to bed really late yesterday editing a video. So, yeah, anyways, we're here. We're on our way home now, but I just ordered the Starbucks on my phone. So I'm just gonna go in literally right now to pick it up. And I'm so excited to eat because I'm so hungry. I'm wearing my new Aritzia Super Puff and I love it so much. Like I've been wearing it every day since I got it. So they're literally the best thing ever. So I got a brown um, sugar oat chicken espresso. I haven't got this in a long time. So I decided like, you know, why not? Usually it has three espresso shots in it, but I changed it to two because three is a little much for me. So that's what I got. And I just got a spinach instead of wrap. Um, yeah. like you feel so restrained hey guys so it's literally pouring rain and we were just saying how like the rain makes everything more difficult because like everything gets wet you know what i mean like i have to hide my camera and everything <laughs> anyways i just have like i just realized that like i have been getting starbucks way too often you can't tell by my vlogs how many times i've been going but it's because like i've been i think it's just this week because i've been like I was going out a lot this week, so I was like, eh, I'll pick up coffee on the way, eh. And I also just got the Starbucks app, so now I'm collecting points to get rewards, so it's, like, enticing me even more, which is not good. Anyway, so I got the Grande Chestnut Praline Latte with oat milk. I think this is the first time that I've tried it iced, because I think every single other time I got it was hot. Um, yeah, it's really good. I was feeling, like, the cold drink today, though. But today... We are just going around. We're just gonna do some errands. Madison wants to get a Christmas tree for her room. Um, maybe a full size one for her room. Full size meaning like like a five five maybe, like like a tall one, but not like an actual like five hundred dollar Christmas tree. I wouldn't say spend more than a, over a hundred dollars for your Christmas tree in your room. <gasps> if they have the one that I have, would you get it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Last year I got so lucky though because the one that I got it was like the last one left. But we'll see what we can find for her. So we're Still gonna November go. Still though. So. Not True. Long ago, so we're gonna go to Winners because Madison needs to get some gifts for her friends. And we were gonna go to the mall, but then we decided like that's just too far. So we're just gonna go more local. And then we're gonna go to Walmart and check the Christmas shit. I haven't started any Christmas shopping yet. Like I've tried to start it, but then I was unsuccessful. So we'll see. Yeah. You guys, we are in Winners and they literally have a pet Here, toy that's avocado me. toast. Like I'm seriously dead right now. That is this is like the best and funniest thing I've ever seen. They also have like an egg. Like this is actually so funny. We're at Walmart to find Madison's Christmas tree. So let's see if we're successful. 39? 39. Oh my gosh, I'm getting this. Wait, what about the white? I like that one. The, the snow? 
I need to choose the one. Oh my god, it has lights in it too. How much is it? It's probably 100 bucks. This one's really nice. This is so perfect. The one at Winners is $200, so we are like, no thank you. But if that one is actually like $40 or even just under 100 is good, I feel like, for a full size Christmas tree. Madison got a Christmas tree so we're gonna unbox it quickly for you guys and show you what it looks like because we have no idea what it looks like because it wasn't like on display in the store and it was literally like one of the only Christmas tree this types is left. I hope it doesn't look bad. I don't think it will. There's it has built-in lights apparently so hopefully it lives up to the standards of the photo on the box. I think it looks really nice on the box. I literally hate colored lights on a tree so that's what it looks like on the box. It actually looks really nice on the box, so hopefully it looks like that in person because we couldn't even see it. Let me know if you guys are like a colorful light Christmas tree person or just like plain white lights or yellow lights, just like plain because we prefer just like plain and then adding the color with the decorations. I feel like it's going to be very sparse, but well, I guess we'll see. We can always return it to it like it's really bad. Okay, so we just finished setting it up. Don't mind that little, this little tree. Um, that was that's my mistake tree. <laughs> yeah, it's not gonna be here anymore. Um, okay, we're about to light it up to see. It actually looks Ready? a lot better than we turn, turn off, turn off, turn off the lights it now. We just, just plug it in and then turn off. Ooh, uh, it's nice. Okay, I don't like the colors, but let's see. It's actually nice. I love it. Oh. Now, let's put the white garland. I have a feeling the white garland's gonna look bad. So we're gonna so let's bring it back right out this way. She bought white garlands like for the decorations because we couldn't find any ornaments. It actually turned out so good. Like I didn't expect it to turn out this good. I love how there's just like that little, it's like a little baby on there. Here, keep the bag. So it's literally 1 a.m. right now and we just watched the Grinch. The cartoon Grinch is literally my favorite, like one of my favorite Christmas movies. I think it's literally the cutest thing ever. Um, like the little baby Grinch is so cute. Like I can't get over the movie. Like I'm literally gonna watch it like at least like five more times before Christmas because I love it so much. Anyways, so I didn't even show you guys. I don't know why I'm doing this at 1 a.m. but I just wanted to do it right now. So we went to Winners, like I said, and I didn't show you guys what I got. So I basically got this shelving thing that I was hoping to put like literally right here to put like my skincare products on. I don't know if it's big enough yet. Like I don't know if I'm going to keep it. I just kind of bought it to see if it works with my thing. Um, so this is what it looks like right now. It's kind of a mess in here, honestly. Like, I don't know. I have like my brush and hair products back there in the bin. But then here, I feel like I just have like two clear bins, but it's not really a good waste of not really good use of this space because I feel like there's so much like it's like go so much higher that it's like I can Wait, store look. more so putting this in there is gonna like add some height so at least it's like making more of the space you know so we'll see how this looks all right so this is how the shelf looks I don't know I didn't even realize it's kind of crooked like do you see how it like slopes down here I don't know if that's just me right now but it kind of looks a little crooked I don't know it's cute though but Okay, so I just filled it with some of my skincare products. I actually think it's really cute. I just got to take off the tag, but the only thing I'm worried about is like the wood getting stained from the products if like there's spillage or whatever, because it's not like it's literally just like wood. So that's the only thing that I'd be worried about. But other than that, it looks so cute. So I don't know. I'm probably gonna like keep one of the bins like this. Maybe just like in front like this for extra storage, but not sure yet. Maybe I'll put it even behind. But anyway, so yeah, I'm just gonna leave it for now. But let me know if you guys like it down below. Tell me your thoughts because I'm gonna keep the tag on it and see if I like it. And if not, then I'll return it. But yeah, looks cute so far. Okay, so I'm currently filming on my G7X because for some reason, this camera has such 
good low light i feel like it's literally 1 a.m and like i'm barely tired because i've been just like having to stay on set so late this week that my body has been like adjusted to like staying up so yeah i have to wake up early tomorrow so i need to try my best to get tired and go to sleep but it's literally pouring rain and it's been raining all day there's like a rainfall warning again i just hope that there's not like any more flooding that goes on because that was crazy dangerous and just crazy and sad so if you guys live in bc right now I'm praying for you because the rain is literally crazy anyway so this is really random but it just like came to my mind to do now so i want to do before i forget so the book by colleen hoover that's called it ends with us i finished it like a while ago and i didn't give you guys like a final review on it like i don't even have words to describe it if you guys want to get into reading or you need a good book to read or whatever get it like it's literally 11 dollars on amazon like it's so cheap um i'll have a link down below the best book literally ever like it's so good it's a fiction book but it's inspired by a true story i'm pretty sure um but she's such a good author and it's just i couldn't stop reading the book like i just couldn't put it down it was amazing i'm gonna get more books by her i just have to pick up reading again because i haven't read for a long time but yeah if you guys are looking for a book to read 1000 out of 10 percent suggest this one i'll have a link down below it was so good it made me tear up it just like rips your heart in a million different places and you're like <laughs> i was thinking about doing vlogmas for a quick second but then i'm like you know what i just Mm -mm. like i'm not gonna commit to something because i know that i can't do that because i just don't have the time don't have the bandwidth to vlog and edit a video every single day like that is a lot of work and i just can't commit to that but i'm gonna try and post as much as possible for vlogmas anyways good night guys